I have a tape measure, a very rigid tape measure set up along the length of the table. First I'll hit some straight on shots with no English just to verify that the table is level. So clearly the table is very level along this tape measure. So now let's hit the cue ball with some English using above center hits to try to minimize any swerve and also adjusting for squirt to try to have the cue ball travel straight up the tape measure. First I'll apply top left English. Again, adjusting slightly for squirt. So clearly the ball is still traveling relatively straight and only deflecting with English off the rail. So the English by itself appears to have very little effect, if any, on the path of the cue ball. Now let's try some right English just to be sure. Again, the ball travels very straight and deflects off the rail with the right English. Even if I apply an excess amount of English with my hand, so rolling the ball slowly with lots of spin, we still see very little or no curve. Lots of left spin, medium speed went perfectly straight. Right spin, that went fairly straight. Right spin, again that went fairly straight. At very slow speeds, the ball does appear to curve a little at the end as the ball slows down. very slight curve at the end to the left. Now at slow speeds, any imperfections or slight dirt or irregularities in the cloth will also cause the ball to curve. So at very slow speeds, it doesn't take much to throw the ball slightly offline. Just to irregularities or pieces of dirt in the cloth. Now there is an explanation for why a ball might tend to curve due to spin. When you spin a ball in place, it slows down gradually, its spin slows down. That's because there are friction forces between the table and the ball that act symmetrically, equal all the way around, to slow down that spin. Now, if you imagine a ball spinning and moving forward, the ball will push the cloth forward slightly, and there'll be more pressure on the leading edge of the ball than the trailing edge of the ball. So if those same friction forces are acting due to the spin as the ball is traveling forward, the force might be greater on the leading edge so that those forces that tend to slow down the ball's spin might be a little stronger on one side which would tend to make the ball drift. So with less spin, the leading edge force would again oppose that spin direction and it would tend to push the ball to the left slightly. So a slow rolling ball with left spin might tend to drift to the left slightly. And with right spin, the leading edge force would oppose the spin pointing to the right and might cause the ball to drift to the right slightly. But again, this effect is so small, it's really hard to reproduce on a table consistently.